All right, uh, let's uh, just remind you of the highlights of this summit in London. The aim is to fund public education for children in 90 countries. Now, those nations are home to 80% of the world's out-of-school children. Of course, Nigeria is near the top of that list. UNICEF estimates there are more than 10.5 million children missing class here in Nigeria. Well, to try and combat that, Buhari has promised to gradually double the education budget over the next five years. All right, now we'll bring in Professor Isaac Obasi from the University of Abuja. Before we talk, glad to have you, by the way, uh, before we talk about the promise of the president, uh, 400 million children not achieving basic literacy skills by the age of 10 since the SDG in 2015. And now I just read that 80% of the world's out of school children are in 90 countries. Very alarming figures, one must say. But what's your sense of this money uh, being contributed for public education? Well, I, I must say that uh, GPE, right from the time it's been on, uh, has been contributing immensely. The problem is not the amount. It is not. The problem is the utilization here. Um, I have listened the minister's comments and your responses, and these are apt. And he sent actually things that are right. But how have we monitored what we have been implementing in meeting one of the most important focus in critical areas of GPE, which is uh, equality in education. In our own part of this country, a lot has been invested in the not to make sure that first you get people out of school and then you equalize. But that is not even the result, the way we see it. Um, I'll give you a common example. The last regime of... Um, um, President Jonathan invested a lot in making sure that he converts some schools to basic education. And you see what happened when the new government came in. So we are not accumulating. We are not adding value to what exists. So GPE has been working enormously in this country. But what is the result? What is the result? Because if eventually I listen to what the, the minister said, um, which is correct, how much we spend on UP, uh, UBE. And that, in fact, looking at totality of what we spend in education does not necessarily mean on what, what is in the budget. I agree with him. But go into the field and see what is happening. We need to change our strategy. We need to reorientate how things are done. He laid out enormous plans they are doing. And in fact, the efforts he's even making to go here and there to make things are working. We are a result. And I'm very glad that he, the issue of insecurity was brought to the fore. Because after listening all, I said, well, if of, even if you have this money around, go to Gardena. How many schools are open? How many? Currently, as we are talking, the, 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 the uh, decision before to close them and to open them after, is still remaining that, are they, they, are they reading? As we are talking, our girls are still in, in uh, captivity. As we are talking, the Islami, Islamia school children Kidnap in Niger is happening. I agree with the minister that is emergency, but that emergency we have not seen it. Honorable minister, please. We need to change the concept of emergency in education. We need to secure. Because if you look at the, the principles, what they want to do, securing education is important. Securing education. If we cannot secure the environment, learning environment, make it safer, how can? The other day when they... Uh, the students were released in captivity in Cardona. Most parents said they won't go anywhere. And some parents are saying, what is the essence of sending it, their child to school when they will sell all their property to pay ransom? These are critical issues. We want to see the emergency focus on arresting insecurity first. Honorable Minister, I know this is not your work, but that's where the problem is. If you get that secured, then this amount of money that's coming in, I agree, will be very helpful. The 50% okay. increase. If, 
if you hear me, let me just come in. You have less than 30 seconds to respond to this. If you were in a position to advise the president right now and those handling Nigeria's education, what would you say is the way to change the trajectory, to move Nigeria's education forward, whether in the northeast or any part of the country, very quickly? There's a multi trajectory path. But the most important thing I said before is securing the schools. We must take in security seriously. I don't have to say it. It's been said by many people. We have not taken in security seriously in this country. I'm challenging the president. I raise in security first. You see other things will fall in place. Right. All right. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. That's uh, uh, Obasi, Professor Obasi there uh, discussing with us on education. Thank you so much for being on Newsnight.